Molo San Bonani, hello, how's it? Good day, good day, good day. Welcome to the Vuga Nazo Show. My name is Sikhle Ngobese, aka Big Daddy Liberty. Remember, whether you're watching this simulcast on Facebook or YouTube, do me a favor, hit that like button right now. If it is on YouTube, then we'll subscribe to the show and hit that bell notification. Help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Guys, remember, we have a website. Find us, and you can also support us financially there by going to Big Daddy DaddyLiberty.com. Now, with that being said, enough of the jibber jabber. Let's get straight into the news. All right, it is the end of another week here on the Vuga Nazo show. You know what that means? It means, of course, we have either a champ of the week, someone who's done fantastic work, a laudable thing, who deserves a pat on the back, or alternatively, a momish of the week a loser a dunce a chop someone who deserves us basically pointing and laughing at them for being an absolute twat so what do we have this week our momish of the week is Peggy Ayala, the minister of police what a momish <laughs> And why is Upegi Tele our mumish of the week? Well, primarily, here's an individual who is completely and utterly useless at his job. I take you back to effectively near the beginning of the week where he released the crime stats, those stats pointing and painting a very grim picture as to how this man as the political head of the police has completely failed South Africans. We are dying like flies in this country with murder up sharply and increasing. Indeed, all categories of violent crime up. And some of the reasons for that murder, I want to put on screen just exactly that image that you're going to see here, where effectively in this country, 70 South Africans a day are being murdered. And you can see the breakdown there from mob justice, people being murdered during robberies and hijackings, gang murders, and of course, interpersonal fights being the lion's share of these numbers. We are a violent country. And clearly, Upegitele is unable to put a lid on this and lead a police force that can actually tackle such violent crimes. I want to say this very clearly and look straight into the camera as I say this, is completely useless. At 71 years old, this man should be in a retirement village and not the twat in the hat that he is gallivanting around the country. Indeed, over the last three years, giving himself 8.2 million rand in order to fly private around the country, basically not to be a minister of police, but to be a minister of condolences, attending events, cutting ribbons, crying crocodile tears at various crime scenes. Remember this? Yep, all of that, all of that PR stuff, this media attention whore individual who travels around the country looking to be in front of cameras cost us 8.2 million rand. It is that 8.2 million that I argued this week on the previous episode of Ivuga Nazo where we looked at this issue could have been spent on fighting crime and improving these statistics and these numbers. People are dying. I've said this once and I'll say it again. The criminal elites in this country, the criminals, the violent criminals in this country, do not fear law enforcement. And especially when they look at Upegi Tele as the political head of SAPS, they do not fear any consequences or nor even do they fear the notion of law and order. You, dear South African, are on your own. And it has become insanely dangerous to be a South African. Somewhere out there right now, my robber, my potential rapist, my even killer is probably lurking, waiting for me unafraid of any consequences, unafraid of even the potential risk of arrest, little as that may be. But hey, don't take my word for it. Uh, don't take oh, the Big Daddy Liberty's word for it. Here's Ian Cameron of Action Society basically reminding us that all of those numbers you saw earlier on, there are real people behind them. This morning it was confirmed again by Minister Becky Taylor that South Africa has turned into a complete war zone with regards to crime statistics. A minimum of 11 women are killed every single day in the country. That's about one every two hours. And if we look at something like murder, we're just below 80 per day. That means that every single hour in South Africa, at least three people are murdered. While I'm telling you this, we are standing outside the Paul Regional Court in the Western Cape, 
waiting for an, yet another murder case to be heard. This time it's Sipokazi Boy. She was brutally murdered, dismembered and burnt in a wheelie bin just over 18 months ago, just outside Paul. And still today there's no justice. The minister, the president, the minister of justice, correctional services, they all speak of these victims as though they are just numbers. But to us, they are human beings. There's a name behind that number. It's a sister, a mother, a brother, a father, etc. Yet to them, it seems that normal people on the ground in South Africa are simply statistics. We are tired of this. And I want to ask the Minister of Police specifically, Minister Bekit Thele, what lawful alternative do we have if you can't do your job properly, sir? That's right. Ian is absolutely spot on. And indeed, that is the reminder that we needed as South Africans, that it is us who are doing the dying, not Ubegi Kele, who himself is safely ensconced behind a wall of bodyguards, who himself wears that ass hat of his and parades around pretending as though he's doing something. I am angry as a South African citizen. I am angry at the fact that fellow South Africans are losing their lives. We are the ones who are paying a very high price for an ANC government which has collapsed the rule of law in this country. So Yebo, Bekele, you, dear sir, are a deserved mummish of the week. All right, that's it for this episode of Ivuga Nazo. Please, hey, let me know what you think about this particular matter. Leave a comment, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. The most important thing you can do is to, yes, hit that like button, but more importantly, share the stream. Please, share it widely. With that being said, if you're looking to support the work that we're doing here, and it's the advocacy work in particular, then please consider con contributing to the show. How do you do that? Find a payment method that suits you at our website. That's at BigDaddyLiberty.com. Now, if you like any of the stories that we covered here, the links are in the description. With that being said, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of The Vuganazo Show.